aside from a, a quick test just to see if gravity was working with my machine this is my first scene that I've done with the fluid os and um, just a it's a short three second animation the cube in here is the water mass which is uh, the same dimensions as the fluid domain and this uh, sphere that's in here is also a water mass uh, fluid mass so that uh, I don't have to animate it it'll just drop right in there uh, we'll take a look at the camera one here and <clears throat> interesting thing um, I was having a difficult time with my video card I think and um, just to test that theory um, Alberto sent me a uh, an, a version of the software that's uh, uh, still in testing. It's not yet complete. You see we have all these extra features in here. We also have this feature right on top, Enable OpenCL. So I disabled that and it works um, for me and I'm, I'm overjoyed with that. So I left the cell size at its default um, 0 0.125, left the subdivision at 2 and I did change the number of diffuse particles down to 10,000 so I dropped that by a factor of 10 it was a, it comes default at a hundred thousand and Alberto asked me to just leave these at default right now because it's not fully tested so I just left that alone and didn't pay any attention to it and uh, so then when I ran the thing um, I ended up with this. Let's go to modifiers and enable these guys. And we'll run the sim. Which is really exactly what I wanted. I'll, I'll show you the render in a second here. Uh, when I saw that and was oh that's that's perfect that's that's just what I wanted so but the thing is is I, I wasn't really seeing these um, these diffuse particles um, and so I messed around with lights <clears throat> and linking lights just to the diffuse um, this domain for the render to see if I could get them to stand out a little better and then all of a sudden I noticed this size slider here <laughs> and it, it's, it defaults at 1 and uh, I just brought it up to 10 and now you can you can see my nice uh, there's not many of them actually there's you know 10,000 of the darn things well the, at maximum and here's the the final render in Howler um, with the larger diffuse particles kind of looks a little goofy with them cranked up so large um, let's see if I can get this running over here there we go and um, <clears throat> there we have the the diffuse render the the beauty pass and I did some monkeying around with the um, ambient occlusion pass here's that I masked it out. I used threshold filter and then uh, made this globular uh, mask in the center to um, you, know, you know I want I want that part to show. What I'm going to do is mask out the the parts I don't want to see. I just want to catch the splash. So here's the inverse of that same uh, mask so that I can select the splash with this one and select everything else with the other one. Here's my diffuse again. So we bring this one back and to uh, eliminate the stuff I don't want I just um, use this one with the background is white and I put that as a selected animation and you see how everything's selected here beautiful alrighty and then uh, just make sure that I'm set at black here so RGB 000 and then I go to um, nope 
uh, filter animate animated and fill selection there there it is <laughs> and uh, now it's going to fill everywhere according to that mask that I made and um, uh, here we go it's it w works really fast and it's very convenient to be able to do this kind of thing instead of having a rotoscope I guess I did use a little bit of rotoscoping techniques but the um, multi-pass render in Carrera really helps out a lot uh, you know and then we could just use filters and stuff like that so now that I have this let's see now all I'm getting is the splash and and uh, the surrounding turbulence underneath it which is really pretty cool you can see where I could really use the touch this up a little bit so this is why I have the inverse mask now I can I can set this as an animated selection and I can um, put the beauty pass back in but instead I uh, I used the um, see how the splashing looks a little bit dark I was a little concerned about that so what I did next is I just um, ran a an animated lens flare uh, it's not even an animated lens flare just a lens flare across the whole animation to kind of brighten up the the blackest areas uh, from the mask artifacts uh, because of the black background there so I'll put um, this one as my animated selection and that uh, lens flared uh, one that I just showed you as my animated swap image now <clears throat> I just toggle this a little bit to make sure that uh, that I'm getting uh, the selection and then we go combine with swap mixed with swap image and you just give this a little crank and I don't know if I want to go full on but just a little enhancement I just don't want the the super black little artifacts to to stay, um, and so this is what I did. Um, I've actually already done this stuff. I, I uh, now I'm just kind of going over it with the with the stuff that I had stored for it, um, as I wanted to uh, just make this stock. footage and there we have something that I can take into a uh, compositor including hauler and um, use it as a splash and we'll show you how we do that so now I'm in the latest version of hit film express and um, I'm not entirely familiar with using this uh, well you know I've done a lot of studying on it but not a whole lot of practice um, but there are uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial on on hit film there's plenty of that um, I, I just uh, wanted to mention that it normally um, starts off with a different interface and you can you can pick your whatever interface you want in here right now I'm in the compositing preset um, but, but yeah you can make anyway you can make your own layouts this is this one works really good for compositing because you can open all of this stuff up and you know work with your layer see here's my my thingy that's my end result that I got from Howler um, you can see that by the time I got done with the, the actual one, it turned out a lot nicer than the than the demo I was doing just now. But uh, so, in fact, I already finished this composite. I brought this layer in just to um, help demo it. Uh, if I shut that off, you'll see that we have not much of a slow-mo um, I, I did slow it down she's running pretty fast 
but she's running through a water plane on the bottom uh, this is just elevated above this floor um, right around the same height it's actually a, not it's a little more shallow than the scene that I that I made the splashes with but they're pretty close and the shaders are the same except that uh, since this is a much larger plane of water I changed the bump and then I also animated the um, the noise that generates the bump um, there's a, a setting in the fractal noise called shape and so that I um, <clears throat> I made it so that each frame of the animation switched to the next shape in line uh, just quick little math and uh, this is also the scene that I used as a um, spherical background to um, uh, on the shaders for the splash so that's why I did that okay so we want this foot to come down and splash right and this this toe kinda catches some water too so what we want to do is add this thing into here and um, hit film makes it really simple here's my end result um, and there again I, I was just doing a, a really quick job with it um, I'll show you how it, how it all how I saved it all out in a, in a second um, but just to just to show you how slick this stuff is, I'll shut that one back off, turn this one back on, and if you know what you're looking for uh, for effects in hit film, all you have to do is start typing the name of the uh, what, what you want. Um, but I'm I'm not that savvy on it yet. Uh, you know different software have different names for different things and I've been learning all kinds of different stuff so um, I know that I want to key out this black and I know it's not a green screen or magic pink or blue screen uh, but I do know that it's keying so I just look for a category that's keying and I remember from Simon's tutorial that when you have when you want to get rid of black what you want is demalt. In Howler, it's really simple. You just select the color that you want to. I think you could do that in here too. Anyway, so with this selected, you look for the effects over here and you just drag your effect on there. And demalt, boom, without having to do anything else, I have a really nice key and what isn't really nice is the the fact that it's just glowing but uh, the creators of hit film are well aware that um, this is a common issue when you're keying stuff out so they give you all of the tools you need and this is the free version of of hit film I mean just cool so here are matte enhancements and what I want to do is erode the white I there again I didn't really know about the, the, the I, I just guessed and, and it worked um, so we put that in and we will open the settings for for that and we want to choke off the white until it, and if if the slider gets a little kludgy for you all you have to do is type in some values and um, and you got it so now if I want to I can animate this effect just by clicking this little button here allows me to um, it'll automatically start setting keyframes anywhere I, I make a change on here so if I did want to animate that I go to a point where I really want it that particular chokeness and then I would click this and then I would come back 
to where maybe I want it a little a little more choking anyway um, I'm not really gonna I guess I did do that um, okay so this is just a a quick little little run through and um, what we want to do next is to uh, you, you know match things up you know because this is basically just stock footage I made this so that it can work in all kinds of different things as you'll see but so now if I grab this tool here you'll see that I can just take that and drag it around and since I don't have it um, since I don't have any of these buttons blue you know highlighted like that which I would go to position um, I, this isn't getting keyframes so I'm, I can go to any frame I want and set it up and uh, so I did that and you can you can you know rotate your stuff kind of screwy with the with the, it, 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 the, all of this stuff operates so much nicer when the screen capture isn't on. But um, you, know, you can just scale it by grabbing the corners and um, drag it around, turn it right here. So it's really neat. And then there are so many other tools that you can use in here so yeah I just wanted to give you a quick little little rundown on what I was talking about on the forums as far as um, how I wanted to use this this fluid tool to uh, to get my stuff done so I, I'm gonna be quiet now I've babbled way too long already uh, hopefully I can edit some of this out and um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll show you the the final project here